Hey, what's going on? Ogopoga here back in subsistence and today is the big day. Yeah, we're heading south. We're getting out of here. So in between episodes, did a couple of off-camera days, did some more uh, a massive uh, wood run. We are up to, I'll check it in just a second. I spotted a container over here. Just checking that out. Actually, there's a piece of scrap down here too. Sorry, just kind of sidetracked already. So yeah, I went and did a massive wood run. I left almost before the sun came up and I didn't get back till dawn the next morning. I stayed out through the entire night. We got ourselves up to 320 planks. So then I took another day and did a lap, another lap around the lake and did pretty good with that I wanted to grab some more pearls we ended up getting 15 more pearls so I think we're up to like 29 pearls now look at this starting to wonder if we should even leave this end eh <laughs> no way we are going 15 pearls I got about 40 more sandstone a bunch more kelp so we're good and ready to rock and roll also our cotton and everything was ready here I pulled that out and all I did was I had eight medicinal seeds so I just threw them in a little bit of water we're just gonna leave them we'll let them grow on their own so last episode I asked the question about removing the BCU placing it and I knew just somehow knew that it was the right thing to do by asking and that's what i love about this community is the willingness for others to help and once again beach bum did not disappoint beach literally saved this season because quite honestly i was prepared to pull this bcu head up build place it and then come back and put another one down and i thought i don't know I'll, and sometimes i do record two episodes and i almost recorded this episode yesterday and i'm just so grateful that i didn't and beach came up and answered the question that if i was to have pulled this right now the hunter bases would despawn and they will reappear once we place the bcu and they'd appear or they would spawn all around us at our new base so I'm very grateful that I held back and I'm very grateful for guys like Beach that are always willing to help out and share their knowledge. So thanks so much, Beach. You saved the day. You saved this season because the strategy would have been all for naught in this first 20 episodes would have been a bit of a bust. I mean, we still could have worked with it, but would have kind of screwed our strategy. So I am ready to rock and roll. I'm bringing along... Um, some of the, the stuff I crafted. Oh, by the way, too, I did get that mass power storage built that night before we left the episode. Since then, I built um, the refinery and a recycler. And I'm just getting up enough power here. We are there now. So I can shut this off. Let's get a bunch of... Uh, we're going to make our workbench, too. I want to save some open slots. Beach mentioned that too. Reminded me that we should keep some open slots for loot and stuff along the way. So we're going to do that. But I want to get the workbench done as well. Might as well while we got the power and the ability to make this stuff. I'm probably going to uh, leave it. Because we're going to be making. We're going to have to make. I'm going to have to make multiple trips back and forth to get everything moved over. Because we just can't do it all in one shot. And it's going to work out anyways. We'll get up to that end. We'll get some building started. We'll get our BCU placed down. And then we'll I'll, I'll make some maybe some off-camera runs back and forth just to get the stuff over there. So I'm just taking a look. Oh, we've also got enough to make our vest. I got I put together the padded cloth. We got our alloy sheets and our rope made. So let's craft our vest. Because it's going to be a risky run. Especially with all the, uh, the... The crafted stuff I'm not so worried about. But it's the big stacks of the... All the nails and everything else. As soon as we get up there, I'm bringing that platform that we had that was extra. 
we're gonna uh let's get that vest on we're gonna get the platform down and at some point we'll make a storage crate to put all this stuff in so let's just make sure we got everything we got things i'm bringing some biofuel too just in case but like i said by the time we get up there and get settled it's probably going to be a matter of um You know, it's going to be getting dark and we're going to be in the episode anyway. So we'll figure it out when we get up there. But let's get moving. Should have had a bite to eat. I'm so busy working on getting everything ready. Oh, we're going to need a water. I think in here. You know what? I'm going to leave a couple of these things for now. We'll come back and get this stuff after. I'm going to take a couple of these out. We'll leave ourselves a bunch of slots. And let's grab a water. We'll leave one here. Okay. Hope I'm not forgetting anything else. Oh, alfalfa's out fishing. Not gonna miss you guys. So the here's the plan for today. Um to get over there. Now, could just hop over and go through over the mountain base and across that way, but we're gonna be hitting the, the fog of war a lot sooner. So I figure we'll run, the valley's wide open. So we'll run straight through the valley and over this way and get over that way. Be a little safer. It gives us a little bit more open map to travel through because once we hit that fog of war, we're entering the unknown and we don't know what lurks behind there. Now, I do see two rogue camps in the open and that means uh, usually there's about four on the map another cotton seed it's usually four on the map so there could be potentially two two row camps in that fog of war so we just got to be mindful once we get up in through there The one thing I didn't bring... Ah, shoot. One thing I didn't bring was... Uh, I had some matches saved up there for to start a fire when we get up there. It's probably going to be spending the night up on, the pl on our foundation up there or whatever if we get some time to build some stuff, which... Chances are it's getting pretty slim because I'm too busy yapping and farting around and forgetting stuff, but... Hey, it's like going on holidays. We're always scrambling around to get ourselves ready, right? Hope everybody's doing good, as usual. Always like to ask, make sure everybody's doing good. We'll get rid of this miscellaneous cotton seed I can throw back in here, too. Hope the weather and life and everything else is just going great for you. Okay, let's get rocking and rolling. We'll make a kind of a dash for it through most of the valley and then we'll uh, take our time and walk through and be able to keep a better eye on things. So I'm excited. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked that we're finally getting this move made. Yeah, that's one thing I did not know. I have not encountered. Like I've said a couple times, I've played this game for a couple years now, going on to three years almost. And when I've done multiple bases before, I've I've done just what we're doing here. I, I get set up and then place the BCU. Then I run back to the old place, dismantle it and replace it. So I'm glad I did not make that move. I truly am because that would have really really put us in a bind I would have still like I said we could have still had fun with the season even with the camps around us but we spent 20 episodes so far and, and a bunch of off camera days getting ourselves set up for this moment and it would have just been a bit of a downer for it to be taken away like that Look at this, we're getting apples and feathers and our few slots are almost full. I'm 
not gonna go looking for loot. I mean, we'll just kind of grab whatever's in our path. So you'll notice at some point here shortly, I did manage to uh, come across a couple of weapons parts. Now, normally you only get them off the hunters, and I in fact did. On one of the days that I was out, I think I ran out to check the... Tr Whoa. I ran out to check the trap. It was raining out. And I saw Buckwheat over on his rock strutting around like he was going to uh, go do try to do some fishing. But then all of a sudden I hear some gunfire and a bear growl. And I look over and the bear grabbed a hold of him and just squished his head like a melon. So I went and cashed in on that. I took, took the bear down and... It was a level three bear, so I got a bunch of fat and uh, I think a liver and a steak. Damn. I really don't have the room to be uh, taking him out and, ga and harvesting him either. That's okay. We can skip that one. But anyways, yeah, I went and got the bear and, and the hunter's bag and it had some weapons parts in it, so that was pretty cool. All right. Could have cut over way by now, but I uh, kind of just following a bit of a loot here. What do we got up here? Got a bear. I think we should be able to sneak by him. Whoa! Look on all sides, there, Ogo. Now we got everybody in the neighborhood upset with us. Am I gonna be able to get this building crate? Nah, I don't think so. All right, let's just keep going. We got lots of time to loot. Let's get ourselves uh, up and over. I'm, I'm so stoked about this. I love the entire map, and I love building around the North Lake, but I'm really just kind of particular about the South End, too. There's just so many beautiful areas through there, and I think the one I've got picked out is absolutely uh, perfect for us. So we're in the fog of war. We're getting into that now, so we're going to have to be very uh, careful. So I'm going to slow it down a bit. Just keep our eyes open. Those pesky rogues can be anywhere. Not so much worried about the animals, but... Still keeping an eye on them, but at the same time, it's the rogues um, that can cause us the problems. Really don't want to die at this point. You got three, you know, 300 planks. We're going to lose 100 of them if we get killed. All right. I'll kind of run down this way. Kind of stay close to the beach. Just kind of keep our eyes open. I'm looking so forward to getting our a good start on our base so we can start exploring this end of the map. There's so many incredibly beautiful areas. So right over there, across the lake, there's a little tiny island there. And I've built there before and I considered building there again. And it is, it was a lot of fun. And I'll tell you why is because when the hunters came to attack, the only option they had was to attack from the water. So the base I had built was I had a nice big tower with an elevator and get up in the tower and when they came to attack it was just like a it was like a shooting gallery because they're just bobbing around the water and you had a lot better chance it was a lot of fun so I considered that for sure but I want to try something a little bit different this time around here's another area over here I'd considered 
was this uh, pond over here. This is gorgeous down in through here. Only downfall is the amount of trees around. Lots of places for the hunters to uh, to hide the the reeds and stuff. Kind of, I know I'm kind of taking a long way around, but that's okay. Nice part about this end too is there's lots of like wide open areas where you could keep an eye on things. The streams and the waterfalls through here are just stunning as well. Birch forest. Love it in here. Piece of scrap, but I'm not going to worry too much about that. Great area for lock crates is so often there's lock crates up and through here. I personally think that this south end is just a gold mine. So far so good. Sorry, man. Didn't mean to disturb you. Here's another area here, too, I strongly considered. This is one of my front runners for sure. Was up in here. It's a great area for moose traffic. A lot of building right up on the rock here. A lot of people do. Actually, when uh, the hunters spawn around this way and play or this area, this is a pretty popular spot for the fortress base to pop up as well. But I opted to go back a little ways here, a little further back. So we'll head over there. Yeah, we're already getting later in the day, man. Oh man, just sometimes it's so amazing how fast this day goes in this game. If I got some, uh, I got wood in case we need to make a fire. Well, I know we're going to make a fire, but you know what I'm saying. And we also got to get ourselves, I should be watching for a uh, chicken or something. Because we got to get ourselves a little bit of protein for when we get there. Oh, first shot of the day is a bust. There we go. Back on track. For the moment. <laughs> oh no! No! I probably could have grabbed it, but... I didn't realize we were completely full. I didn't even think to check either. Okay, let's get back there and... There's lots of wildlife around where we're going, so we'll be able to grab something to eat anyway. Let's get our stuff placed down before we end up making a real bonehead move here. Ah, there's a crate over here. Might as well grab it. We're not too far away. Looks like an ammo crate anyway, so we should be okay. I hope to be surprised sometimes what's in these though. I'm safe. Good. Oh, and look at this. A lock crate, I believe. Yeah, this is awesome. And I got I didn't I haven't made I've been making uh, all that stuff so I don't have a lock pick. That's okay. It's it, it's a great area for lock crates through here too, so another bonus.
I mean, look at it up through here. This is absolutely just gorgeous. Nice stream. Great view. Absolutely love it. Hey. Hulk Hogan. All right, guys. Here we are, man. This is where I'm thinking. I think this is just a, a perfect spot. Got a grub tree right there. A few trees around. We got fishing right down below. Now, I did consider building down here on the water. I thought about this as well. Placing our uh, foundations there with the back of our base against the wall. But I want to have lots of glass on this. It's going it's to limit us to having glass on just the one little area. And up here, if we build up on here, I have a feeling, because if you look at the map, here's the our, our other base and you know alpha and or alpha alpha bravo and them they may be coming over this way so i think it's a good idea they're going to be coming from this direction somewhere so we're going to be here we're going to be able to build ourselves up and have a good vantage point on and seeing them coming so i think right up here is going to be beautiful but i just love this view i think this is absolutely gorgeous like i said there's lock crates through here there's lots of wildlife bears and wolves chickens rabbits Cougars are right here on our doorstep. So I think this is going to be the perfect spot. What do you guys think? I love it. And I got a pretty good uh, idea in mind for a base. The design of the base. So yeah. I think this is it. This is where we're going to call home. I'm going to get the foundation, one foundation down. Build ourselves a set of stairs. And we might as well build ourselves a storage container as well, a storage crate. And that can all be moved around. Now, the beautiful thing about the wood burner is you don't have to have a BCU down to be able to place it. So we're going to be able to get that place. We're getting to the end of the day. We made it up here. Let the games begin. Next episode, we'll do... Uh, we'll get our build on. We'll start making... Um, getting our, our main floor layout set up. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Okay, well, let's just place this down quick. We can fix that up in a bit. Let's get our storage crate back. Anyways, we'll get the build going and so we can get the BCU placed and then we'll be able to make a trip back up to the other end and start moving our stuff over and replace that BCU and make this one primary. But I want to get it set up so that it's going to be placed where we need it and not just plunk it down quick without thinking about it. So we'll do that. Let's get this guy put down. It's going to be good enough for tonight. Yeah, let's get all this stuff put in. Then we're going to go out and get ourselves something to eat quick. And it start getting a little bit more uh, entertaining as you know from this point on now because we're going to be spending a couple building episodes. I think some of the move stuff, the running over there, I'll, I'll do the one run on camera when we replace the BCU. But other than that, at the other trips over, I'll probably just do off camera because well, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. I'm just grateful that uh, we didn't make a big mistake here. What am I doing? Let's get this thrown down. Just pop that here for now. Good enough. Let's get some logs in there. Oh, we're going to throw them all in here, actually. Get that going. 
and have a drink and fill up and stuff. So I'm going to uh, spend the rest of the evening getting myself set up here. And in the morning, we'll start getting the main main floor of our base set up here. I think you're going to like the design we got. But I just love this area. I think this is gorgeous. And we're going to have, you know, our the front of our base is obviously going to be on the face or the top of this cliff here. And we can make it all glass and just have nothing but view. I think this is gorgeous. So I hope you like the spot I got picked out. And we're going to uh, get our build on next episode. But thanks for hanging out. Thanks for escorting me over to this spot. We'll uh, continue on next episode. As always, be safe. Look after each other. Thanks for watching. And I hope to see you on the next episode. Take it easy, guys.